We are back and better than ever, attempting to learn business from the five smartest minds in business in the world. That, of course, is the Sharks of Shark Tank. Today, we're focusing on one man in particular, Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, the venture debt vulture, because he's about to buy TikTok, or trying to, and I want to see how he got to this pinnacle of business. And I'm seeking $750,000 for 10% of my company, Hi, Amber. Circadian Optics. All of us slog away inside a dark office and it's making us tired and unhealthy. The UK, stuck inside all the time. When they go outside, it's gray and dreary. We make bright light therapy lamps that mimics the color and the brightness of the sun. I wonder what this costs to make because I assume this is like pretty basic product, right? It's just like a lamp. <laughs> right, you're yes. saying yeah. my company's worth <laughs> $7.5 million. You must have blockbuster sales. Please. Last year, I sold $4 million. Wow. wow. That's fantastic. Thanks. Why do you need a shark? That's yeah, a good question. So Why? I am here for a strategic partner. You know what she needs, though? If you're talking about strategic partners, what you need is the social media canon of Kevin O'Leary. You get him with one of his famous six, seven like Instagram posts, that catapults this from small fry few million a years to multi-billion. Amber, what is your backstory? My personal background, um, I told my parents I wanted to come to America and they said, okay, let's do this together. Nine months after coming to America, I was diagnosed with toxic shock syndrome. A 50% chance of surviving, I survived and it made me ask myself, what am I going to do with my... I'm sorry to laugh during this story. I think it's a very uh, touching story, but when I see Kevin O'Leary with a fing, I just don't buy it, bro. We've seen him fing on every one of these stories before. He's thinking about SBF. <laughs> it's so unfair, he was jailed. You represent to everybody in America, everybody around American the world dream. that watches this show, Anything is possible. Entrepreneurship. For that reason, I'm out. <laughs> the American dream. You are freedom. I would like to help you. Mm -hmm. yes. But I'd like another shark with me. Okay. I am looking over at Mark. Yeah, I'm. Dude, I'm getting so bored of the Lori Mark combo, dude. They just slam dunk everybody else. <laughs> everybody wants to work with either Lori or Mark, and when they team up, it's like it's it's it's, it's too op. Nerf, nerf, nerf. Seven hundred fifty thousand for twenty percent. Because you got us both. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the offer. Okay. We're, we're going to give you exactly the same offer. We'll give an extra 50 for your parents who are unbelievable. We'll give them an extra 50. <laughs> He's flexing. Amber, you have to... I'm here for Lori and Mark. You have a deal! Yeah! <laughs> so f***ing OP, dude. I'm here for Lori and Mark! Uh, how is this Kevin's best episode? Uh, at least he's offering. <laughs> he didn't offer venture debt, okay? That's a big moment for him. He made an equal offer to Lori and, uh, and Mark. What happened to this company, okay? It's called one of the greatest pitches in the history of the show. After Shark Tank didn't close the deal. <laughs> I knew it. Bro, she was here for an ad. I'm here for Lori and Mark. I actually outplayed so hard. She sold her company to Thrasio. We don't know the exact amount, but they target brands between 1 million to 100 million in annual revenue. It looks like it was pretty successful on Amazon and she sold out big to Thrasio and made big bucks and didn't have to give up any percent to any sharks. Oxygen is the most essential element for the heart, for the brain, and for the muscles to function. Boost Oxygen is 95% pure aviators breathing oxygen compressed into affordable and portable aluminum canisters. It's to air in a can. It's <laughs> a $1 million <laughs> capital investment <laughs> for a 5% equity stake in Boost for Oxygen. For 5%? Wait, wait. <laughs> what are your sales? We have 6.4 million. Ooh. Oh my Whoa. God. We have roughly 95% market share in the United States. Whoa. Has anyone tried one of these? I've tried oxygen. Yeah, I mean, me too, but <laughs> I've done an oxygen. I've never done any oxygen bar or anything like that. I don't know. You're trying to educate people on a problem they don't really know they have. I'm out. I'd much rather have that beach house for the million dollars, so I'm out. <laughs> Even what an insane random flex. None of us took it. 
and said, wow, this is a no-brainer. That's not good. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Interesting. I'm going to give you the million bucks in a loan, and I want 7.5% <laughs> equity. Taking on debt when we don't need to take on debt, especially at 9%. You're allowed to counter. Yeah. So we'll do a million, uh, 6%. Of the, uh, the um, sorry, the uh, interest rates. Yes. But I keep my 7.5%, right? 5%. For 5%. All right. Because we're all reasonable, <laughs> we meet in the middle. Yes. Six and a quarter. So we're pretty sharp in yeah. little numberonies <laughs> there when we're cutting in half. <laughs> think... We'll take the deal. <laughs> Lovely. Hey! Thank you, guys. Hey! Wow, well, he basically gets the equity for free. High interest for 2019, high interest loan that they pay back with the profits from the company and he gets equity for free on top of that. So you guys are saying it didn't close. It turns out it did. That's why we're watching today's episode. This is one of uh, Mr. Wonderful's best deals. The product went from 4,000 real deal locations to 8,000 nationwide, including Walgreens and Dick's Sporting Goods and Kroger. Uh, their sales skyrocketed to 15 million. And he owns, you know, six and a half percent for nothing, and they paid back all his money on debt. He actually got a big time fucking debt deal. He finally hooked a whale. It's one of America's fastest growing private companies. And Kevin O'Leary got fucking venture debt. His first time to get that paid off in all the episodes I've seen. Damon John, who wasn't on this episode, is quoted as saying, This is one of the best deals I ever missed. <laughs> Here's Mr. Wonderful doing a promotion for it. <laughs> I am asking 200,000 for 20% of the company. I have found the fountain of youth. I am 61 years old. Wait, what? I hate you. I'm kidding. You. I'm, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 40 years old. It's face yoga. Face yoga is face a really yoga? great mattress. She you invented mewing in 2019? In the you can look like this. <laughs> to the ceiling. That's just mewing. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's the product? <laughs> what is, what are we selling? This is... Um, I teach how to do some specific exercises. My lifetime sales is only 17,000. It just doesn't seem that hard to teach. Like someone could just take her class, then make a TikTok explaining it, and then it goes viral. And like, what is she... She's only made 17K, she wants $200,000. You know, you can't patent the idea of doing this. <laughs> that's, that's not patentable. I have another cosmetics business from Japan, which currently make a uh, half million. You have one business <laughs> doing half a million dollars, <laughs> doing $17,000. And that's the one she brings. I'm an entrepreneur, I always love doing something new. Anybody who can get $17,000 from people for face stretching, you deserve a lot of credit. Um, <laughs> it's kind of shitting on it. Uh, it's just not a fit for me. <laughs> I'm out, Coco. It'd be hugely successful if you did a comedy routine. That's so mean. I'm out, Coco. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Congratulations, Coco. I can't see how you make money. I hate to see her go. That's kind of sad. You hate to see her go. You told her she should be better off as a comedian, Barbara. <laughs> you said she should do stand-up comedy instead of business. What happened to face yoga? What happened? It's still in business and possibly thriving. They added face and body care, including a special pillow and a skin tightening handset. The Journal for the American Medical Association looked into it and face yoga can enhance the fullness of your upper and lower cheeks. But that being said, she hasn't made a ton of money. If they come to me at Mewing that time, works. oh, Coco, please teach me some exercise. No, <laughs> I will not though. Please live with your saggy face. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave with your saggy face is very fucking funny. She cooked them. She's selling pills for mewing training. Oh my god. How much though? Obviously, it's really stupid, but like hypothetically, like what would they cost? We're from San Jose, California, seeking five hundred thousand dollars for ah, ten percent of our company. I'm never going back. Atlas Monroe. Monroe. Some of the best fried chicken you ever had, huh, Sharks? Very close. We make nothing but one hundred percent. Vegan, plant-based oh, eating, vegan only fried organic, chicken. non gmo ingredients. My father was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. We grew really hangry at each other hangry. from eating just salads and fruit salads. Yep. We started going to work in the kitchen and experimenting, like raw lasagna and tacos. And after the 90 Damn, days, I'm so he hungry. Was completely healed. They healed his cancer with raw lasagna, or did I miss just the what was the disease? 
Diabetes? We were the first and only vegan company to be invited to the National Fried Chicken Festival. That's cool. All right, Mark is still eating it. So this could either be very tasty and they really hit something, or it's like a uh, fake. <laughs> because it's like when the, those vegan donuts turned out to be Dunkin' Donuts repackage. The revenue is $60,000 that we've done this year. Our okay. net is $73,000. And our gross is seventy-six thousand. Yeah. You can't have sixty thousand in sales and make seventy-three. Product <laughs> sales sixty, yes. including shipping revenue seventy-three. Yes. Are Looks you good, charging though. forty-four dollars to the customer? Yes, it costs us two dollars and sixty-seven what? cents for wing That's or for a, six wings. For six. six. I don't trust this it's company. Though. <laughs> the numbers it's, feel it's off. Ridiculous. Those are literally Nvidia margins. <laughs> it's like they're selling. $50,000 GPUs, dude. This is like crazy. I think you're here way too early. But what bothers me is you're confused. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm gonna make you an offer, but there's gonna be so many contingencies. I'm gonna give you the 500K as a letter of credit. He's and doing I want credit? 30% of the business. Holy sh. What are your projections for this year and next year? We do. $12,000 in a 24-hour period of time. Just in the last three months of this year, we projected at 2.4 million, just with the three months. She made one Instagram post that did well and made 12K orders, and now she's predicting that that's gonna happen every single time, every single day. Your numbers seem really impractical. So unfortunately, I'm out. I'm back in, because Mark sucked me back in. You need more money. So we would be willing to give you guys a million dollars. Oh, sh for everything you guys have. We'll give you guys a 10% royalty on everything. And if these <laughs> orders are real, then this is a They no buy the whole company? It's actually not that crazy to take. If you, it depends on how, how much you believe in your business, I guess. But if you're a little bit unsure or it's overwhelming, you get a million bucks, they handle everything, and you get a royalty forever if they make it succeed. I really like your original offer. That's not on the table anymore. It's gone. Ah! Yeah. We would like to decline. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Wow. Are you turning down a million dollars? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. We started our company because point. we really That's don't point. want That's to be you're employed. You're no different than we are. We we mustard and ketchup taste. sandwiches, I know where you're coming exactly. from. We've all had our backs up against exactly. the wall. So mustard and ketchup sandwiches? First of all, you can get a hot dog for pretty cheap. I'm not saying I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm just saying if you're going to have a mustard and ketchup sandwich, you can put a hot dog in there at almost no other cost. But Mark Cuban did not work in a factory struggling. He sold broadcast.com radio on the internet <laughs> to Yahoo for billions of dollars i don't know how much he struggled but like it he was pretty young when that happened we're gonna have to take the offer yeah, back and back out i'm sorry unfortunately guys all right they got out of there i think that they were right not to give up there not that i'm saying i would have done i mean it seems pretty safe but their sales had topped a million dollars by 2020 doubled by 2021 they purchased a multi-million dollar manufacturing plant in san diego and they produced twenty thousand units weekly they're the largest manufacturer of vegan fried chicken in the world i'm looking and i don't know if they've done so well that it would have been crazy to take the deal i think the deal's kind of decently offered where they could have taken it completely chilled let someone else run it but eh, anyway good for them somebody <laughs> offers you a million dollars you know you have something really extraordinary in your hand and just be careful with that line of thought because there's the people that ran clubhouse the audio chat app that got offered four billion dollars from twitter and said well if you're offering us four billion it must be worth a lot and it turns out it was worth jack shit and they didn't take the deal and now they're worthless like only like a year later they were worthless think this through sometimes you get the offer you take it very interesting episode kevin o'leary finally lands a big dub by investing in bottled oxygen and making an absolute mint on venture debt